What's good sports gamers and welcome back to another NBA 2K17 tutorial video where today I'm going to go over the different types of passes you can do and when to best pull them off at NBA 2K17. And all I ask from you is to leave a like down below to help our channel grow. Thanks. Alright, let's do it. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. first type of pass I'm going to go over is the normal pass. And you do that by moving the left stick towards the player you want to pass it to and then hit either A or X to pass it. The next type of pass I'm going to go over is the bounce pass. To achieve this you aim the left stick towards who you want to pass it to and then hit B or circle on the controller. Purpose of a bounce pass is they're harder to intercept. A perfect one will have the ball hitting the ground right as it passes the defender. Next is the overhead skip pass. And you do this by aiming to the area you want to pass the ball to with the left stick. Then hit Y or triangle on your controller. I say pass to the area because overhead skip passes will literally skip over the closer player in favor of the one further away if they are both in the same line of vision of the ball handle. It's best used when it got further from you is the one open and you don't want to risk wasting extra seconds having to pass the ball twice for it to get to him. Next up is the fake pass. To do this you hit Y and B or triangle and circle. It's best used when you're driving into the lane as it can sometimes fake out a defender and thus create an open shot for you. Next is the icon pass. To do it you press RB or R1 to bring up your icons and then select who you want to pass it to. And you can even lead whoever you pass it to in any direction with the left stick before you hit the icon. Next, I'm going to go over the flashy pass. To pull off the Sports Center highlight reel passes, you aim the left stick towards who you want to pass it to and double tap B or circle to throw the pass. The better passer the ball handler is, the more accurate these types of passes are. Next is the jump pass. To do a jump pass, you hit A and X or square and X. It's funny, coaches tell you to don't leave your feet when you pass, yet here we are. The benefit, however, is these types of passes get a higher arc on them, making them harder to intercept. Next up is the alley-oop. To throw an oop, you aim the left stick towards who you want to throw the pass to, then double tap Y or triangle. You want to make sure the guy you're about to throw to has a clean lane to the hoop or else his path will get blocked. And you'll either throw the ball out of bounds or right to the defense. Now I'm going to go over everybody's favorite, the self alley-oop. To throw an oop to yourself, you aim the left stick towards the hoop, then double tap Y or triangle in your controller. Next up is the dribble pitch. To do it, you aim the left stick at who you want to receive the ball, then hold B or circle to make him come towards you, where he will receive the ball on the move. Receiving the ball on the move can make slow guys seem fast and fast guys nearly unguardable. Now is the lead to the basket pass. To lead a player, you aim the left stick towards the player you want to make the cut and hold Y or triangle to make him cut to the basket and let go of the button to pass it. You want to break this out if you notice the defender is playing tight coverage on the perimeter. It's a three point shooter's counter to aggressive defenders. Next is the touch pass. To attempt the touch pass, you aim the left stick at the player you want to pass the ball to and press A or X and before the initial guy receives the ball, you hit A or X again. And what happens is the first guy will get rid of the ball immediately after. Guys in real life use this to defeat rotating defenses so they're not wasting precious seconds that can guarantee an open shot for their team. Next is the give and go. To pull off a give and go, hold A or X to pass the ball. That's the most important part, hold A or X. And once the player receives the ball, you will know that you will still have control of the initial ball handler. And from here you can wiggle around, drop to the basket, anything to beat the defender. And when you think you're open and ready to receive the pass back, let go of the A or X button. And lastly is the rolling inbound. To do so you hit a Y or triangle. You use this when you need to save time on the clock because the clock doesn't start until you touch the ball. Just make sure nobody's lurking behind you ready to intercept the ball or you will look a little silly. Trust me I know. 
All right, people, I hope I helped you understand the different types of paths you have at your disposal and that you can now begin to pull them off with no hesitation. And if you like the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more NBA 2K17 content. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all. This accomplishment. Smith kicks to Thompson. And he goes big before with a screen on Jane. And the jam by her body control when he has the ball in the low post. Mills dishes to Ginobili from 18 feet away. And, and a great is it. 76ers moving the ball around. Drills it from outside. We're going to start with the hesitation dribble. To activate it, you flick the right stick towards the hand the ball is in. So if the ball is in the right hand, you aim the stick to the right. And if it's in the left, you aim it left. It's effective because when you rise up, your defender freezes to respect your ability to pull up the shoot. Thus, you're changing the speed the defender is moving. And somebody who constantly forces the defender to change speeds is hard to guard. Because they're forcing you to stop and start, and before you know it, they went by you. This is how guys like Steve Nash could blow by defenders with ease, even though he isn't the fastest guy in the world. Next is the hesitation escape. What you do by hitting RT or R2, then flick the right stick towards the ball hand. You either move to the side or backwards once your hesitation move is done. Now is the signature rhythm dribble. You start by flicking the right stick towards the basket and your player will form his own